This is Larry Williams Drive. Are you ready? News Talks Good evening, it's now seven past five. Well, the government has today ordered an urgent report on airbags as 180,000 vehicles in New Zealand may need replacements. Millions of vehicles fitted with the Takata airbags have been recalled in Australia as they have the potential to spray shrapnel. The fault has been linked to more than 20 deaths worldwide. California man Alexander Brangman lost his daughter in 2014 when the airbag exploded in her rental car. And Alexander Brangman joins us from uh, the United States. And good evening, and thank you for your time, Alexander. Thank you, uh, Larry. Um, Yes, this is a very serious issue. I appreciate you um, taking the time to bring awareness and addressing this serious matter. Right, so you've ex- yes, it. you've experienced the worst uh, damage these faulty Takata airbags can cause. How how are they dangerous? Why are they dangerous? Well, the, the notion that the substances that are being used for these particular airbags is questionable in itself. It's very similar to a hand grenade due to the ammonia nitrate, which is an unstable explosive actually used in terroristic tactics. When it's put into a metal airbag canister, it deteriorates and and explodes uh, shrapnel metal. Um, That's how my daughter died. The shrapnel metal exploded and hit her carotid artery and killed her. And there's been similar incidences with with some of the 22 other deaths here. How successful has the U.S. been in removing these from cars? Well, I would say marginally, the recall is mandatory, but less than 50% at a less than 50% completion rate. There's lawsuits all over the place, isn't there? Yes. It, you know, in my mind, it's an epidemic. Um, there, are, there is incompetence on all levels, those who are handling the recall process. It seems to be more of a reactionary process as opposed to proactive and Systemically, the recall system in itself has its flaws. In the United States, do you believe there has been unethical behavior in the industry? Completely. Completely. Um, The ethical and moral decision processes that have uh, transpired are unconscionable in my mind. Uh, Obviously, um, if the proper decisions were being made, we would not be in this situation because this is something that's preventable. Takata covered up this problem for over 10 years by destroying evidence and altering data. Um, Corporate greed over profits with profits over lives is completely unethical and poor decision-making and poor behavior. Right. The airbag manufacturers, one thing. What about the manufacturers of the cars? Do you believe that they knew that the uh, airbags were faulty? Yes. I I do that they they were complicit also in it. Um, because it's about sales. Um, here in the U.S., lawsuits allege that five automakers, Honda, Toyota, Ford, Nissan, and BMW, already knew that there was a deadly effect, defect and were complicit in the Carter's cover-up. Are cars still being sold in the United States with these faulty airbags? Yes, as of last year. New cars? Brand, brand new, and they're not telling anybody. There is ca- yes. Illegal. Okay, there is currently uh, a voluntary recall for these airbags in New Zealand. You know, the Australia have basically banned them and, and banned the cars from operating. Uh, there's a voluntary recall for these airbags in New Zealand. Do you think there should be more done? What do you think should happen? I think it should be mandatory. Um, and it, it is known that there are faulty airbags in these cars. It should be a stop and decease. You shouldn't, they shouldn't be allowed to even be on the road. It's an imminent danger waiting to happen. Alexander, thank you very much. Appreciate it. That is uh, a California man, Alexandra Brangman, who lost his daughter in 2014 when uh, one of these airbags exploded in her rental car.